Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do a quick video on how to do a herbal tea or, or just a normal tea in this Keurig K-Duo. So what's really nice about this K-Duo, on the left side you've got a coffee pot, which is just a normal coffee pot. And on the right side you've got a Keurig machine where it takes K-Cups. So today I'm going to show you how to do this herbal tea. This is um, from Keurig itself. Now, these teas, in my opinion, are, are they're very strong. So, I brew my coffees on 8 ounces, but I do my teas on 12, maybe 10, but I'm, I'm going to do 12 today. So, the teas are just like any normal K-cup. You just put it in there. We're going to close the K-cup side. I'm going to select the K-cup side. I'm going to do 12 today. Okay. And then we're going to sit back and watch it brew. Now you can brew your tea at, at, at the 8, 10, or 12, it doesn't matter. But these teas just tend to be, they tend to be pretty strong. If you do a 12 ounce, make sure you've got a big enough cup because some of the smaller coffee cups don't hold 12 ounces. Okay, so in less than a minute, you got a tea, which is brewed at, same as a coffee, about 167. And again, these smell really good. And they do, they just taste, they taste really good. Mm. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good tea. Okay, so real quick, I'm just going to get the, these teacups are really intricate. I'm just going to show you what's inside. So I cut it open and you've got you've got a filter which is really nice. You got some really intricate tea tea leaves. I mean they did a pretty good job with these tea. So I just wanted to show you if you've never seen what a tea uh, cake up looks on the in, looks like on the inside. Now one thing I do recommend after you do your tea, so somebody may want a coffee after you, just leave it empty, okay? And then do a uh, like a 10 or an 8 ounce brew with just water. They call that a flushing because these, these teas are really strong. And if somebody brews a coffee on the K-cup side right after you, they're going to taste a little bit of this tea. Even though you've got the K-cup out. Even though the K-cup's out, there's just a little bit left in there. So just do a real quick rinse um, if you're going to be doing a coffee or something next. So again, this is just a dad. This was just a quick video showing you can do a tea on this Keurig K Duo on the K cup side. The possibilities are really endless. And like I said, I normally do my coffees with the eight ounce, but the tea is 10 or 12. And I think they just give you these options because you read on the boxes, they really don't tell you where to brew this stuff at. You got to kind of experiment with it a little bit, but these are my settings. And I think they give you the settings just so you'll have that option. If you may like it stronger, one person may like it weaker. So, again, just a dad. If you if you got any questions, leave your comments down below. I check my um, comments daily, so I'll try to answer as best I can. And I really appreciate everybody watching. If you could, please like and subscribe.